I don't know what it is. Probably something that's not good for you. <laughs> okay, start in a down dog. Separate your hands as wide as the mat, have the index fingers forward. Yeah, down dog. I'll be very specific with my cues. So if you can't hear, or if you get bothered by like not being able to see me, you can move at any point during the practice, you can come over here. That's great, yeah. So in your down dog this morning, bend your knees in half. Yeah, bend them in half and lift your seat, your butt really high. Plug your thumbs, your index finger, your baby finger down. Wrap your outer triceps in, let your head go. Draw your navel closer to the front of the thighs. Your knees are still bent in half. And then slowly, slowly breathe your hips up nice and high and start to straighten your legs as much as they're gonna go. And you may be in a predicament today where your knees have to stay super bent depending on your range of motion and your flexibility. So it's a little cool out here. Nothing we can't handle. Connect to your breath. The breath is your fire. It's the breath that's gonna get you warm and keep you toasty throughout the practice. Inhale through your nose, through the back of your throat. Exhale through your nose. Good, from your downward facing dog, look forward with your eyes, land your right foot all the way forward and through behind your right wrist, come to your fingertips, yes. Drop your back knee on an angle. If the right foot didn't get forward, you could always use your hands to scoot it forward if you feel tight. Drop your back knee on an angle, crawl your arms up towards the sky. Good. So Laura, have your back knee more on an angle, like slide it a little further behind you and keep your toes curled, yeah. Hands come down to frame your front foot, activate your back leg, you're in a low lunge, come to your fingertips, slingshot your left foot forward. Long spine on an inhale breath, your weight is forward. Exhale, fold into yourself. Good, long spine right here. Take a giant step back with your right leg. Drop your back knee on an angle. If you need to walk your left foot, you can. Crawl your arms up. Good. Hands come down to frame your front foot. Activate your back right knee, step to a dog. Look forward with your eyes, land your left foot forward and through, come to your fingertips, yep. Drop your back knee, crawl your arms up. Good, hands come down, activate your back right leg, slingshot your right foot forward. Long spine on an inhale breath, exhale fold. Long spine again, land your left leg back. Drop your back left knee on an angle, crawl your arms up. This is one of those sequences that like something could go wrong, like as far as rights and lefts. <laughs> We're really testing ourselves this morning. Yes, hands come down, activate your back leg, step to a dog. Roll forward to plank position, yeah. Iron out the distance between your plank to your down dog, down dog to plank. So you may need to walk it out a little. Feel like you're pulling the mat apart with your hands in opposite directions. Lead with your heart and chest, keep your neck nice and neutral. You can always drop your knees if it's too much. So you're in a strong plank, more weight forward on your tippy toes, lengthen your spine. Draw the pit of the belly in and up, plug down. Fix your eyes on one spot and hold. Drop your knees directly down underneath you. They're a little behind you actually. Yes, there you go. Bend your elbows in half to a supported push-up. Less is more in the practice, you all know. Yes. Restraighten your arms to a supported plank. Keep your neck nice and long and neutral. Do it again. Bend your elbows, supported push-up. You can lower as much as halfway. Restraighten your arms, supported plank. Again, halfway down, supported push-up. Restraighten your arms, supported plank. Good. Bend your elbows, supported push up. Restraighten your arms, supported plank. On in this position here, 
crawl your left hand out so it's going to look like this, like an inch forward. And you can have your palm flat. I just have a tendency of doing it like a clawed hand. Pivot your left toes out. You're going to come into a modified side plank with your left hand down. So you're going to open up Sarah and Lauren with your left knee on the ground. You got it. Right leg lifts hip height. Spread your torso and your chest. Look up with your eyes. Hug your left hip in strong. Lift from your inner right thigh and spark up your right toes as your side body lengthens and elongates. Look to the floor. Good. Pivot the left toes around. Your right leg is in the air. So you're in a three-legged plank, a uh, ta tabletop position like a plank here. Your right leg is in the air. Hug your right knee towards your navel. Land your right foot all the way forward and through. Come to your fingertips. You may need to slide your left knee back a little. Crawl your arms up. Yep. Drop your arms by your side body, interlace your hands, clasp your hands, keep a little bend behind your elbows if you want, open up your heart and chest. So just a, it's a subtle movement this morning. Yes. Grip your right hip in strong. Yeah. And just breathe the front side of your body open. Most of us need this like, you know, once every hour throughout the course of the day. Yeah, because we sit in internal rotation. So this is a great exercise you could just do on your kitchen floor when you've had enough. Yeah, pull up to center, sweep your arms up towards the sky, place the hands down, plant your palms, hug the right knee back in, you're in this little like tabletop position, and then slide your right leg back tabletop. Good, your knees walk back an inch, bend your elbows in half to support a push up. Again, keep your toes down, yes. Restraighten your arms, supported plank. Again, bend your elbow, supported push up. Bend your elbow, up, straighten your arms and come up to supported plank. Keep going, bend your elbows. You guys look great. Supported plank. Again, bend your elbow, supported push up. Elbows wrap by side body, supported plank. Pause. Crawl your right hand out an inch forward. You can tent, you can have the palm flat. Swing the right leg out on an angle and then open up your hips to the right, to the left with your right knee down. You got it. I like the toes curled because it gives you a little bit more stability. Lift from the side of your ribs, lift from your inner left thigh. Yeah, spark up your left toes. Open up your collarbone and your chest. Yeah, allow your body to feel this morning. Look down, place your left palm down, swing your left leg behind you. Keep that leg in the air though. You're in a supported little tabletop here. Right knee is down. Hug the left knee in, supported plank with your left knee in. Left foot slides forward and through. Crawl your arms up. Yeah. Grip your left hip in strong. Just make sure, Tandeep, your left knee is directly over your ankle. So walk your foot forward an inch. Yeah. Drop your arms by your side body. Clasp your hands opposite grip. Good luck remembering. I have no clue. Inhale the breath. Exhale, start to open up the front line. So the nature of our minds, we like jerk our heads back in this pose. It's a really soft movement. Keep your neck neutral. Think about your hip points moving forward and you're wasting long. So then your chest starts to open. Come up to neutral, wrap the arms up towards the sky, move the energy. Hands come down to frame your front left foot. Hug your left knee in in this little tabletop position. Good, slide the left knee back, you're back in this tabletop. Good, now you're gonna straighten your legs to a plank. So just straighten them out, unless you prefer to do it that way. Bend your elbows in half, chaturanga, and pause. Keep your neck long. Look forward to the front edge of your mat. Drag yourself through your first up dog if it's available. Baby cobra's there too. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Full exhale, breath out. Find some stillness, find some peace. Good, look to the top of the mat. Step, step your feet to the top. Arrive lightly. Long spine, your weight is forward. Your hands can come to the front of your shins as well. Exhale, fold. Let your head go. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag your hands to prayer at heart. Drop your arms. Here we go. Arms reach up, stretch up big. Dive over, bent knees forward, fold. Let your weight carry you forward. Long spine to prepare you. You can step, step to plank. 
then lower halfway to a chaturanga. Pull yourself through a nice smooth up dog or skip it. Hips up and back downward facing dog. Look where you wanna go, step, step, or float your feet to the top, get their light. Long spine, keep the weight forward into the balls of your feet. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Dive, uh, bring your hands to prayer at heart, stand tall. Here we go, arms stretch straight up, look up. Dive over bent knees forward, fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips to prepare. Step, step, or float through your vinyasa. Upward facing pulls you through. Hips up and back, downward facing. Look where you wanna go, step or float your feet to the top. Get there light, make it efficient. Long spine, weight is forward. Exhale, fold into yourself. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag your hands to prayer, drop your arms. So nice, clean, smooth movements. Our arms reach up, look up. Dive over bent knees, let your head go. Come to the fingertips to prepare. Step, step, if you're gonna float, you have to land with bent elbows into a chaturanga. Upward facing smooth, tops of the feet press into the floor, hips up and back downward facing. Plug down, look where you wanna land, step or float your feet to the top, get there light. That was a good jump, long spine weight is forward, exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag it to prayer, drop your arms. Arms stretch straight up, keep going. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, weight transfers you forward. Long spine prepare, step, step, or float through a vinyasa. I mean, I bagged jumping like two years ago. Up dog opens you, yeah. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Look where you wanna go, step or float to the top, get there light. Long spine, weight is forward, exhale, fold. Root to rise, come up, get grounded. Drag your hands to prayer, drop your arms. One more, because we can, arms reach up. Dive over bent knees, let the head go. Long spine to prepare, step or float through your vinyasa. Everyone's vinyasa is at this point, it's gonna look a little different, feel a little different. Just make sure you're breathing. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Look to the top, step or float your feet there. Long spine, keep the weight forward. Exhale, fold. Let's sit into a chair, weight moves into the heels. So play around with the space, the space in your feet for chair. So sometimes it feels good to have your toes together, your heels a little bit apart. Sometimes you need a little bit more separation. Maybe having the arms moving up doesn't feel good in your body. So you can always have the arms cactus, your hands can be in a prayer, your hands can be on your hips, anything goes. But transfer more weight back into your heels and make a strong shape with the lower half of the body, like a strong box. Stick your butt all the way out. Connect to your breath, lift your chest hand deep though. Lift your, there you go. Shoot up to stand up. Drag your hands to prayer, drop your arms. So just get in the habit right here. Just separate your feet a little because we're gonna move a little different. Here we go, arms stretch straight up. Have a block, you may need it, close by. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let the head go. Come to the fingertips to prepare, long, long spine. Guide your left leg back into a lunge. Walk your right foot over to the right, about two inches. Come to your fingertips. I like this one. No, no, you'll like it. We have the same musical taste. Arms reach back. So you're just hovering over your front thigh, getting heavy in your legs. Palms face down. Arms sweep straight up towards the sky. Good. Just always in the back of your mind, if you get to this crescent lunge and you're like, it doesn't feel good today. I feel like I'm just, you know, not where I need to be. You always have the option of dropping your knee and that's not like an easy way out. It just, it's there. Stay with it. So see if you can get a little heavier into your right thigh. 
Like let the energy of your right thigh slide back into your right hip socket and get out of the knee. Yeah. Squeeze the muscles along the back left leg. Hands come down to frame your front foot. Claw the mat. Spring your left foot forward. Keep your feet at least two fist distance, maybe even a little wider for this. Long spine prepare you. Look forward with your eyes. The weight is forward. Guide your right leg all the way back. So Amy, walk your left foot over to the left. Yeah. Be on your fingertips. Grip your left hip in strong. Activate your back leg. Arms reach back. You hover. Palms face down. So shoulder blades draw back. You're creating a little up dog in your chest. Heavy in your legs. Sweep your arms out and up or straight up crescent lunge. If you get here and you need to off out, you just back out. Hip points move forward. Eyes look forward and up a little, but keep your neck with you. So a little heavier in your front left thigh, like letting that energy kind of move back rather than the weight riding forward. Get a little bit more energy on the ball of your back right foot. Hip points move forward. Hands come down. I want you to claw the mat, spring your right foot forward. Long spine inhale, pause, quite a lot of extension. Guide your left leg back, low lunge. Just pause for a second, be on your fingertips. Turn your back foot on a strong angle now without your right hip popping out. So most of you just did that and your right hip popped out. Grip the right hip and shrug. Step, walk your left foot more towards Tracy. Take wider, there you go. Arms reach back and hover. You wanna feel like you can steer the left side of your body forward and grip your right hip in super strong. Sweep your arms straight up towards the sky, warrior one. Sometimes you can come up this way, you have a little bit more room to kind of creep your right foot forward. Right hip hugs under, left side ribs turn towards the front edge of the mat as you press firm through the outer blade of the back foot. Meredith, this doesn't feel good for the lower back, just take crescent. Mm -hmm. Hands come down, peel the left heel, you're back in the lunge, spring the left foot forward. Long spine pause in the extension, guide your right leg back into a low lunge. Grip your left hip under you strong, Turn your back foot. So even I just did it. Uh huh. Turn it on an angle. Keep the hands down for a second. Left hip, hug it under you. Steer the right side of your body forward and then sweep your arms back and hover. Press firm through the blade of your back right foot. So it's like you're going to fly. Sweep your arms straight out and up or out and up. Maybe have a little more room to swing that left foot forward. Good. Steer your right ribs forward and your left hip under you. This looks great. Look up with your eyes, get grounded with your feet, with your legs, with your breath, with your mind. Get out of the idea of like where I need to be. You're right where you need to be. Hands come down to frame your front foot. Right heel peels, right foot springs forward. You're in this like wide positioning with your feet. Long spine on the inhale, pause. Guide your left leg back again. This time, you're gonna reach for a block. You're gonna place it to the outside of your right foot. You're gonna turn your back foot in a warrior two position. Now you may need to go high with your block, that's fine. So pick the highest setting then. Stay connected, outside of right arm, out right, right leg and inside of right arm, left arm grows up. So you're in this A variation extended side angle. Your back toes need to have a strong angle. Take a bigger step, Tandeep, and you're in good shape. Just make sure your front right foot intersects your back left arch. Yes. Connect. If you want to wrap your left arm up and forward, go for it. If not, just stay here. Hug your right hip and strong underneath you. Turn your bottom ribs towards the sky. Look up. Connect to your breath. How can you lighten the posture? Stay with it. Top arm straight up towards the sky. Anchor and rise, warrior two. Not a long hold, I promise. 
Let your left arm drift back a little bit more as you broaden your stance and get down a little deeper. Turn up the inner part of your right thigh. Breathe your collarbone and your chest open. Flip the right palm, reverse your warrior. Let the side body get an offering and an opening. Woohoo! Circle the hands to frame your front foot. Let your left heel pop up off the ground. Spring your left foot forward. Just move your block to the left. Long spine weight is forward. Good, keep the length, guide your right leg back, pause. Take your block to the outside of your left foot, anywhere that you think you're gonna get the benefit. Turn your back right foot in warrior two. Make sure you intersect. From the ground up, extended side angle A, right arm up. Hug your left hip in strong. Nance, you can always just have your arm on thigh. Yeah, keep bending into your front thigh. Great. Maybe the right arm wraps up and forward. If you have that extension, that's great. If not, just stay. Hand can also be on your hip. Focus intently on your left hip. Yes. Grip it underneath you and then turn your ribs from left to right. So you're kind of like scooping up your ribs and turning open. Yeah. Keep bending into your front thigh. Let the right arm stretch straight up and then use the strength of your right arm to pull up warrior two. Open up your chest, broaden your chest open. Turn up the inner part of your left thigh. So that means turn it open, yeah. And use the strength of your back right arm just as much as your front arm. Sit a little deeper. Flip the left palm, reverse your warrior, open up the front line. Good. Circle it to frame your front foot, peel your right heel off, tent the fingertips, spring your right foot forward. Long spine on the inhale, keep that weight forward. Guide your left leg back again. Turn your back foot on the same angle that you just did. Make sure you're heel to heel, heel to arch, okay? Before you go anywhere. Pull up somewhere on the front of your right shin and straighten from the ground up, triangle. If you need a block or you need to reset, you do it. Hips are going the same direction they just were. They're in an open position. Yeah. You got it. Find the side of your ribs and find extension there. Grip your right hip underneath you. Broaden your collarbone and your chest and look up. Stay with it. Look with your eyes down, circle both hands to frame your left foot, uh, right foot, excuse me, pivot the left heel off. You're on your fingertips, spring your left foot forward. Long spine on the inhale, keep the weight forward, guide your right leg back. Keep your left foot where it is, just turn your back foot on a strong angle, intersect the feet, Pull up on the front of the shin, Trikonasana from the ground up. Little soft bend behind the front knee is always helpful. Utilize a block to the outside of the left calf if you need that. Grip the bottom hip underneath you and create like a lot of space from your side ribs. You got it. Keep looking up, pull up on the front of the shin. Look to the floor, circle the right hand down, peel the right heel up, okay? Spring your right foot forward, line your feet up closer. Long spine on the inhale, exhale, now you fold. Sit into chair, weight moves into your heels. Press up to stand up, drag your hands to prayer, drop your arms. Here we go, arms slide straight up towards the sky, sit deep into chair, stick your butt all the way back. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips, prepare, step or float through your vinyasa. So at this point you just decide what feels the best. Maybe it's just coming to a dog and holding and be patient. When you get to this down dog, land your right foot forward, turn your back foot strong, warrior one. 
to see how this warrior, this first warrior feels after doing all that work. Hands come down to frame your front foot, plank, chaturanga or bag it, upward facing up to you, hips up and back down dog. Left foot lands, back foot turns. You can also just take crescent lunge, first warrior, come on up. Hands come down, move through your flow that feels good to you. Meet me in a dog and pause. Just breathe. Anchor through your hands, look where you wanna go, step or float your feet to the top, get their light. Long spine, keep the weight forward, exhale, fold. Sit into chair, weight moves into your heels. Press to stand, drag your hands to prayer, drop your arms. Arms slide straight up, here we go, with excitement and joy, it's Friday, sit into chair pose. This morning's carpool like didn't talk, they were like, oh, dive over bed knees, oh, and I got yelled up by the police officer for where I dropped. Long spine prepare, step or float, I like let them out, yeah, step or float, chaturanga. He's like, ma'am, you can't do that. Upward facing, downward facing. Right foot lands, back foot turns, warrior one. Yeah, just do what you can. Chaturanga or right to a dog and just hold. You're welcome to just hold plank too. It's up to you. Left foot forward, back foot turns, warrior one. Keep it moving. Hands to the floor, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Point the toes in that up dog. Downward facing dog, hips press back. Be still, deep breath in, deep breath out. Here we go, look where we wanna go. Step or float our feet to the top. We're gonna do one more. Long spine weight is forward, exhale, fold. Sit deeply, chair, commit. Press up to stand up. Drag your hands to prayer. This is your best one this week. Slide the arms straight up towards the sky. Sit firmly in chair, deep chair. I can't get them on. Dive over, bent knees, forward fold. You can go, no one will care. Long spine prepare, step or float through your vinyasa. Upward facing dog. He's like, seriously? Downward facing dog. He's like, I just showed you how to light the heaters. Right foot forward, back foot turns. Warrior one. I'm like, I can't remember, it was too early. Warrior one. Hands come down, chaturanga. Upward facing. Yeah, because it smells. Just turn off the gas. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Yeah. Alan, just turn off the gas because it stinks. Left foot forward, back foot turns, warrior one. You can't go by me. My smell is off from having COVID last year. So chaturanga. Upward facing point, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Just turn it off completely. Thank you. Downward facing dog. Okay, roll forward to plank. Lift your right foot an inch, flex the foot from the ground. Yes, yeah, so you're hovering your right foot. Now point your right toes and hug your right knee in. Look forward with your eyes. Step, slide your right foot back to a three-legged three plank. Lower the right foot down plank position. Lift the left foot an inch. Try and do it without your hips moving. Flex the foot to start. Now point the toes. Hug your left knee in. Slide the left foot back, let it hover, flex the foot. Lower it to a plank. Halfway to a push up. Restraighten your arms to plank. Float the right foot, flex the foot. I know. Point the toes. Hug the knee in. You got it. Slide it back, flex the foot. Lower to the floor plank. Last time, float the left foot. Point the toes. Hug the knee in. Slide it back to hover, flex the foot. Lower it down plank, chaturanga. Upward facing. 
Hips up and back, downward facing. Look to the top of the mat. Step or float your feet there. Let's see if I can turn this one off. Long spine, prepare. Exhale, fold. Good. Sit your seat deep into chair pose. Drag your hands to prayer at heart. It's good I know how to multitask. Hands to prayer. Inhale the breath, hook the elbow, take it to the right. Chair with a twist, guys, to the right. Yeah, you can hover. Nance, you could separate your feet, just do this version where your feet are separated. That should help. I shut them all off. Keep moving the weight and the energy back into your heels. Yeah, and make sure the two knees stay lined up side by side. If you're near the sun, twist into the sunshine. Yeah. Separate your feet, Jody. Maybe that will help the knees. Yeah. yeah. That's her knees. They, they make noise. Pull around to chair. So you just gotta kind of, kind of hunker down here. Get into a deep chair. Slide your hands to prayer. Inhale the breath. Hook the elbow. Twist the other direction. I said the other direction, just in case you want, went the wrong way. Yeah, it can be even. Keep sticking your butt back, get in there. Nice, Kristen. Spine is long, weight is in the heels. Hug the hips in strong. No one cares. We all got our own, all of our own stuff too. Chair, pull around, get low. Press up to stand up, drag your hands to prayer. Have a block at the top of your mat, guys. Stand on your right leg and hug your left knee in. So you're gonna hug your left knee and we'll work a little on balance here. And sometimes that's a win-win experience. Sometimes it's not a win-win experience. So just have to get over yourself. Grab below the kneecap. Yeah, stand firmly on your right leg. So make sure your, everybody's on their right leg. The right leg is the balancing leg. Hug your right hip in strong. So let's do this today. You can just stay here and be with this. This is fine. If you want to move on, you're going to crisscross at your wrist and grab around the ankle. And if you're at home and you want to go near a wall, you can go near a wall. Good. Draw the shoulders back, lengthen the tailbone down, and hug your right hip in strong. If you'd like to move on, extend the leg forward. Now, my leg's not going to go straight. That's okay. The standing right leg has to stay straight, though. And you can just do this with a bent knee the entire time. Stand up really tall. Yeah. Now, if your leg is moving forward or your leg is just bent in half, the right hand is gonna stay on the outside of the left thigh knee area or the outside of the left foot area, moving into a twist. So the bent leg version looks like this. So the right hand comes to the outside of the left thigh and just wrap the arm back. If you were able to find extension with the leg, the leg is moving forward, the torso is extending straight up and the left arm is wrapping back. So just turn towards the, uh, the door, Lauren, and you'll be in good shape. Keep the leg the same way. Yeah, perfect. Good, you're gonna come around to center, keep the leg up, straight out in front of you, arms up or leg bent, you pick. Okay, your arms are gonna drop by your side body, pause. Maybe everyone do this with a, a bent left leg. Feed the left leg through for a warrior three. I suggested having blocks at the top of your mat because if you get here and your balance feels a little rocky, you simply just place your hands down on one or both blocks to get your balance. So bend deeply behind your right knee. Yeah, and flex your left foot strong. You're in a warrior three, balancing without using the blocks or using blocks. Look to the floor. Right hand's gonna come to the ground or the floor. Most of us need a block underneath our hand and move slowly into half moon. Hug your right hip in super strong and open up your hips like you did in that little side plank we did earlier in the practice. Grip your right hip underneath you. Stack your body up neatly and nicely and flex your left foot strong.
a couple more breaths. Wherever you are in the pose is awesome. So we're gonna transition together and do it slowly, soften behind the right knee, look down, take a giant step back, warrior two. Yeah, warrior two. Take a second to make sure your feet are arranged in the same place. And they're not all over the place, yes. Breathe your chest and your collarbone open. Lengthen your tailbone down. Wrap your right thigh open. Yeah. Settle in here five breaths. Stay with it. Flip the right palm, reverse the warrior. Wrapping through warrior two, you're gonna wrap into a B variation. Left arm can immediately come around into a half bind or a full bind. Yeah, cause you're open enough now. Use a block to the instep of the foot. Yeah, and place the right hand down. So go right hand to the instep of the block. Yep, left arm behind you. Scooch your left hand around and grab your inner thigh. Good, stay with that. That's a good spot to be. Stay with it. Lean back into your inner right thigh and open your collarbone and your chest. Grip your right hip firmly in. Yep. If you, if you had your left arm bound, extend your left arm up. Okay, look to the floor, take both hands down to frame your, your right foot. Pivot your left heel off the ground, uh-huh. Left palm down, right arm open, easy twist. It's just a transition. You can use a block if you want. Look down, you're gonna lean onto your left hand for Vashistasana and you're gonna travel your right leg up into a tree pose if possible. You can drop the bottom knee if you want to, stack the two shoulders, look up. So tree Vashistasana, which is a side plank, regular Vashistasana, modified Vashistasana, how we did it before, Amy, like this. Now, if you want, you can add a little bind. Maybe that feels good. Yeah, perfect. Looks great. Top arm can stretch up and forward if you want a little more. So I always teach you modifications so you can adapt them into your practice as we move through. I don't know how your body feels, you, you know best. If you have the tree, keep it, plank position. Keep the tree, why not? Chaturanga, let the tree go, upward facing. <laughs> Hips up and back, downward facing. If we can't laugh, then like, what, what's the point of doing this? Look to the top of the mat, step or float your feet there. Long spine prepare, separate your feet a little while you're down. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. I'll save you the chair pose again. Hands to prayer. So now you're gonna stand on your left leg, okay? Stand on your left leg, draw your right leg up and just grab below the knee. This can be where you stay. And this is totally fine because it's working on balance. You do it for a few breaths, get yourself rooted and grounded. Good, if you wanna move on, crisscross your wrist and grab your foot. So it looks like this. This can be your next stop, stop where you just stay or just stay in that first part. Draw the shoulders back though, scoop out your belly, press firm into the standing left leg. If you wanna move on, you extend the leg forward. Listen, you can just go a little bit like I'm demonstrating here. So what I would do Maris, really keep a strong connection between your stomach and your thigh and just extend a little bit if it feels okay for the lower back. Yeah. Go into the twist now, the leg goes forward or the leg stays bent. So the left hand wraps to the outside of the foot or the knee and the right arm wraps back. Breathe your chest open, look back. And if you fall, it's okay, come back. 
Good, come around to center, arms up, leg up, give it a whirl. Keep moving your arms up for a second. Keep lifting your right leg up. Everybody bend, bend the knee in half. Drop your arms by your side body. Feed your right leg back. You have to bend a little behind your standing knee and come slow into your warrior three. If you need a block, you place it down on the floor in front of you and you just get your balance. If not, your arms are straight back or alongside your body or in prayer. Flex your right foot strong, look to the floor, reach for a block off the edge of that left foot a little forward and start to slowly move into your half moon. Ardhan Chandrasana. Move the block a little to the left, Kristen, and you're gonna be in good shape. Tandy, move the block a little more forward and I think you'll be in a sweeter spot, yeah. And if the foot starts to turn in, that's just the weakness of the hip, that's what we're working on. Grip the hip in strong, lift from the inner thigh, just do your best. Turn your bottom ribs, open your chest up. Two more breaths. Focus a lot of energy on your front leg. Give a little bend behind it. Take a giant step back, warrior two. Sometimes it's not the easiest transition. So take a moment to set up. Your left foot is always forward. The thigh rolls open. The right toes turn on the an angle and then drop your tailbone down, spread your collarbone in your arms. Then find your focus and close your eyes. Just a few breaths. Now that we're not breathing in the gas, we can breathe in the fresh fall air. Stay with it. Bend deeply into your front thigh, let your tailbone drop low. Good, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Let the extension of the side body open you. Come through your warrior two and go right to your version of B variation that works. The right arm can immediately wrap around. The left hand can come to the instep of the foot onto a block. So take your left hand, Amy, on the inside. You got it. Turn your back foot on an angle. There you go. Good, the back of your left tricep is encouraged to touch the inside of your left leg. And then lean back a little bit, grip the left hip in strong, anchor the right leg and twist open. The crown of the head is moving forward. The left hip is gripping in strong, a strong back right leg. Sarah, I don't, the, wrap your right arm behind you. There you go. That was a new version. Perfect, stay with it. Three more breaths. I know you didn't want to hear that, but it's good for you, they say, whoever they are. So if you have a bind with your top right arm, just extend it towards the sky. Everybody look to the floor, circle both hands to frame your left foot, pivot your right heel off, walk your left foot a little to the left so you have wider positioning. Right hand down, left arm peels, easy twist just for a breath or two, it's a transition. Grip your left hip in strong. Good, look down, plant your right palm. You're gonna move into your variation of side plank. I'll show you another one that's kind of cool. You can try this. Amy, you could try this one too. Do you know this one? The, right, the bottom leg is straight. The top leg will bend in half towards Jody. There you go, and then lift the hip. That's good, right? Yeah, and then you can add a tree if anyone wants to. Yes, top arm can wrap forward towards me if you want a little bit more in your upper body and core. Stay with it. Plank position, if you have tree, hold it, why not? Bend your elbows in half, Chaturanga. Ditch the tree, pull through an up dog. Good, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Land your right foot forward, crescent lunge. Come on up. Good, hands come to prayer at heart. Inhale the breath, lean forward, hook the elbow and twist. Yeah, be high on the ball of your back foot. It's gonna be a little easier for the lower spine. Yeah, or drop your back knee. That looks good, Meredith. Just stay really upright. 
Grip the right hip in strong and lean back. The goal is to have the crown of the head in line with your back heel. Two more breaths. Look to the floor, place both hands down and pause. Okay, so we're gonna move into revolved Ardhan Chandrasana from here. You probably need a block. Yeah. So what I need you to do is move the block forward. So it's like over where your left hand will be in front of you. Your right hand's gonna come to the flat part of your back. Now you're gonna press off and you're gonna lift your leg up. So it's like warrior three. Yeah, move the block a little bit over to the left. So it's underneath your left shoulder. This is where you're gonna stay, really neutral, really grounded. The side waist is long. Yeah, just have your fingertips there. It's just gonna keep you aligned. Flex the foot, then start to look right. Then if you can stack your right arm up without the leg dropping, go for it. If not, just stay with your hand on the flat part of your back. Grip your right hip in super strong and twist open. You got it, nice work. Breathe. Good, look to the floor, take both hands down to that block and just even it out in the center. So just like in a warrior three for a second. Bend behind your right knee, bring your hands to your hips. You're gonna come up to stand and you're gonna cross your ankle over the top of the thigh. And then you're gonna sit deep into ankle to knee pose. Move your weight into your right heel and stick your butt way back. Sweep your arms back and start to hinge forward at the waist. Now you're hovering in this kind of a, almost like a warrior three ankle to knee. Flex the top foot strong. You got it, flex that top foot. You got it, really nice work, couple more. We're really gonna challenge our mind, our breath and our balance here and our focus. So we're gonna press up slow and we're gonna come to tree, regular tree pose to so get hold of your foot and guide that foot up there. Get your balance, hug your hips in strong, bring your hands to prayer and see if you can just focus your attention on calming everything around you. If you fall out, you try again. Slide the arms straight up towards the sky, grow the branches of your trees. Hug your hips in strong. Hands come to prayer at heart, step down. Stand for a second. Yeah, it's challenging. Slide the arm straight up towards the sky. You get one more chance. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips to prepare. Step or float through your vinyasa. Just kind of move all that stuff out. Up dog should feel good. Hips up and back down dog. Here we go, guys. Left foot lands, high on the ball of your back foot, crescent lunge. Drop your back knee if you did it on the other side. Hands come to prayer. Inhale the breath, lean out in front of you, hook the elbow and twist. Yeah, back leg is super engaged if you're choosing to keep it up off the ground. Good, let the crown of the head line up with your back heel, lean back a little. Get in there. Yeah, why not? Hug your left hip in, activate your back leg more and twist with a little bit more juice. So we're gonna transition a little quicker because now you know where you're going. So look down, use the block, slide your left hand to the flat part of your back and pop the back leg up. Revolve Dardan Chandrasana, lift from your right thigh, the inner right thigh, find the length of the torso. And if you can extend your left arm, great. If not, just keep your hand here. This gives you tons of information that you're aligned. Yes. Use the core strength to keep the side ribs lifted. Twist open.
So transitioning a little, a little quicker because you know where you're going. Look down first with your eyes, bring your hands to your hips, bend behind your left knee, start to come up, cross the right angle, ankle over, sit your seat chair. If it didn't work out so seamlessly, you just restart. Grip the hips in strong and then slide your arms back and come down and hover. It's like a warrior three ankle to me. I like this version. Flex the top foot strong and breathe. You wanna bend your left leg like chair, stick your butt way back and get in there. The balance is challenged. Rip those left, that left hip under you. So seamless transition, grab onto that right ankle and slide it up into a tree. And if you fall, join the party. Tree pose. Nice work, Nance at home. Throw those branches of the tree straight up and then look up. There's something about this posture. It calms everything. Hands come to prayer, step down. You got it. So we're just gonna open up to, just go towards the right, wide straddle here. If you prefer doing, if you were at home and you wanted to go up against the wall, you could go into an inversion, but turn the toes in here, bring your hands to your hips and you're gonna come down for a wide straddle. Yes, a couple different options when you come down. So tripod headstand is here. If you were like at home, and didn't have any elements of nature, you would do this. But for today, tighten up the stance if your head hits the floor. Grab onto opposite elbows and just hang, like in ragdoll, wide straddle. This is just as good as an inversion, if not better. Bring the weight forward and bring your toes lower in just like an inch or two. Bend behind the knees as much as you can, need to. If you need to rest your arms on blocks because it's just not comfortable, do that. So bend behind your knees so you're breathing your hips way up off your heels and drop down and let your body just kind of melt into this. Switch the grip of your elbows, take the opposite grip and get a little heavier in your legs. Yes. Let go of your clasp hands, come to the fingertips, long spine. Your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Your weight is forward. Start to crawl your hands forward towards your right ankle. Pivot your right toes to the front edge of the mat. You're in a low lunge. Yeah. Plant the palms to the ground. Thread your right leg back and through for a three-legged down dog. This is just to clear it out. Look forward and swing your right leg forward, half pigeon. So go right leg tan deep, forward half pigeon. You got it. I told you, sometimes it just doesn't work out. It doesn't matter how much direction we give. And fold right here. Use the strength of your body to start to come up. Lean onto your right side. Swing your left leg forward. It looks like a tree seated. Your right foot's on the instep of your left thigh. Mm -hmm. Right hand comes behind you at the base of your spine. Inhale the breath. On the exhale breath, you lift up. This is called sail pose. The whole right crease of your wrist is facing towards the back edge of your mat. So you know your shoulder's in the right position. If you can get your left foot flat to the ground, it's going to give you a little bit more support. Good, exhale the breath, lower down. Good, swing your right leg forward like this so that the knee is bent and it's forward. Left leg bends in half for seated spine twist. So the right knee lowers forward. I'll pivot like this. I, I'm, I'm visual with this one. You can copy me. Good, left hand behind you, right arm wraps around or you hook and you twist looking left. 
its seated spine twists Ardha Matsudrasana. Good, come to center, counter stretch. Anchor the feet, bend the feet like this, reach the arms forward, come up, boat Navasana. It's almost over, so you might as well just get it all in now. Lift the chest. Yeah. Ardha Navasana, hover. So less intense, the legs would be up at a 90 degree angle at any angle that works. More intense, you're hovering, your neck is long, you're scooping out your belly. Navasana boat pose, pull yourself up. There's no whining going on here. This is pretty awesome. Navasana, Ardha Navasana, I mean. Navasana, pull it up. Cross the ankle, step or float through your vinyasa. Last time today. When you get to your down dog, just to be even here, just breathe your left leg up and then look forward and sweep your left knee forward and through half pigeon. Unfold. It's not a long hold today, so just get yourself in, a few breaths, and melt. You got a friendly speech, oh boy. Spray them. Use the strength of your body, come up, swing your, your left hip to the ground and your right leg forward. Good, left hand behind you, inhale the breath, come on up, sail pose. We gotta nail them, go get Lynette Toe to nail them. Good, on the exhale breath, come down. Nice work, swing your left knee forward. Right leg wraps around. Good, right hand behind you, hug the, left, the right leg in with your left arm, inhale the breath, exhale, look over the right shoulder and twist. It likes you. Come around to center. Unravel your feet, reach your arms forward, scoop out your belly, keeping your feet down, start to lower, 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 all the way to the floor. When you hit the ground, fingertips skim the backs of the heels, lift the tailbone up and scoot your arms underneath for bridge. Utilize a block if you want a little more. Good. It's gone. It's gone. Walk your feet a little closer. You're going to be in good shape. Closer to you. That's probably what I meant. I should have said closer to you. Good. Stay here or move into a full wheel for the final thing. Flip your palms, bring your chin to your chest. It's not for everyone. If you feel like you don't want to go all the way up, slide a block or just stay. Lift a little higher, turn your feet forward. I killed it. No one's getting in the way with the Shavasana today. Yeah, exhale the breath, lower down. We had a B situation over here. I'm all the way down, it's gone. I'm very calm, but I kill bees apparently. Good, hug your knees to your chest, give them a big squeeze guys. Happy baby, if you think you need it, let your knees kind of straddle around you, flex your feet nice and high. And then slide into Shavasana, complete rest. We did it. We did lots of poses, lots of stuff on our mats today. Complete rest. This is where we benefit the most. Complete rest, let everything go. Let go of everything. Yeah.
Take a big breath in, follow it up with a big breath out. Stretch your arms up over the top of the head, reach big. Move your knees in towards your chest, squeeze in tight. And come up to a seated position and just sit for a second before we bounce up and we have the rest of our day. Sit up really tall with the shoulders draw down the back. Right, so connecting with yourself is so important because you feel so much more grounded at the end of this practice. Hopefully that can carry you through the day or at least through the next hour, at least you get to lunch. Drag the hands to prayer, bow your head for a second, have some closure. Lift your head, open your eyes, namaste. Good to see you all, thanks so much. Yep, we'll do it again next week.